you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Britta coming at you fast with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay and today we are going to be talking about Black Ops 3. Now what we're going to be playing in the gameplay however is just a little bit of ranked play. Uh, I haven't played Advanced Warfare in a while, decided to get back into it in time for the Black Ops 3 beta to kind of get my aim back a little bit. So you're going to see me struggle sometimes maybe, you're going to see me punch the air on accident maybe because I'm trying to get used to tactical, but in the end it's still a pretty alright gameplay and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But today we are talking about Black Ops 3 and just the controversial topic, the scary thought that nobody wants to think and everybody's afraid to say, what if... Black Ops 3 is a failure. What if Black Ops 3 sucks? You know, what if it bombs like like everybody thinks Ghost did in, in esports, for example? And, you know, a lot of people might be, oh, that's ridiculous, man. It's Treyarch. Treyarch made this game. You know, Treyarch made Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is great. You know, all that kind of stuff. They have zombies. How could it possibly go wrong? And you're right, you know, that's, that's the same way I think about it, too, because I believe in Treyarch. I know Treyarch can do a good job. I know that they're you know, they're not bad at what they do. They're, they've been the better Call of Duty developer as of late. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that they can come up with some awesome stuff. And if it's, you know, unbalanced, then they'll balance it, whatever. But, nonetheless, you still have to have that thought in your head. What if, right? What if it goes south? What if, um, I don't know, the, the game is bugged? Or, like, there's an overpowered weapon that never gets patched? Or, you know, some other stuff. Some other stupid stuff that people might think of. You know, just... just Anything can happen. Anything can happen at all. So let's say that things do go south. Let's say that things do go wrong and that Black Ops 3 is a failure. Nobody likes playing it and, you know, it dies off very quickly. What's going to happen to COD? Well, I'm pretty sure that if Black Ops 3 doesn't succeed after two years of iffy kind of Call of Duties, then it might just end up killing the franchise. And I'm, I'm afraid to say that because I don't know if it will or won't. But if we take into account that Infinity Ward is making the next game after Black Ops 3, they're pretty much going to make Ghost 2. If they're not making Ghost 2, then I have no idea what they're doing. Because if for those of you who play Ghosts 1, I guess, uh, and you play the campaign, in the end of the campaign, there's actually a teaser that there's going to be a sequel. You know, And it's a pretty, pretty obvious kind of ending where it, it's a cliffhanger, you don't know what happens, and that, uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a teaser pretty much. So, what what ends up happening is that if Black Ops 3 does end up messing up, then maybe, just maybe, Halo actually comes into effect again with Halo 5, and considering if Halo 5 will be good or not. You know, if Halo 5 is an amazing game, and Black Ops 3 comes out and totally bombs, then I'm pretty sure that if we're talking about the competitive scene, if we're talking about esports and MLG, Halo might be the primary first-person shooter that year. I'm not saying, okay, I'm I'm throwing out crazy ideas, okay, this is all just for, just all up for grabs, just all for, for food for thought, okay, I'm not saying that, oh, you know, COD sucks, Halo should be the new esports shooter, I'm not saying that at all, alright, don't put words in my mouth, uh, but, you know, if, if it does come to that, where Call of Duty is just not Call of Duty anymore, then it's gonna have a replacement of some sort, it's gonna have some sort of, of thing take its place and counter-strike is already there it has its own spot in ESL uh, battlefield also has its own thing in PGL uh, I don't know maybe Star Wars Battlefront might end up being something competitive I have no idea but I know for a fact that Halo 5 also in, a, in ESL and PGL will be pretty prominent will be a pretty prominent scene because from what I've seen so far and from the, the reactions of uh, a lot of pros and all that kind of stuff, they say that, you know, Halo 5 is fit to be a really good esports first-person shooter. So if I had to guess, if Call of Duty did fail, Halo would take its place for at least a year. Uh, but, you know, I, what, what would you guys do? If, if Black Ops 3 was bad, would you still play it just because it's COD? Uh, would you try and find another game that you like more? What, what would you do? I'm interested to see uh, your guys' you know response in the comment section below So make sure you guys uh, do that because uh, I want to I want to see what you guys think on this topic, but um, Yeah, it's just it's just something to think about because like a lot of people always question like When you know when should I stop playing COD? I know a lot of people that stopped playing COD once uh, Black Ops 2 came out or after Black Ops 2 like after Black Ops 2 they were done like they don't want to play COD anymore uh, some people stopped playing after Modern Warfare 2, 
because they're just like, okay, it just got stupid after that. Or maybe, you know, after Modern Warfare 3, they, they stopped after that. So, you know, it, it, it just, it's personal preference. It's personal preference. It's what people like. It's what people don't like. It's what people expect from the game when they don't actually get it. And it's what people can adapt to. You know, some people like Advanced Warfare a lot because they're really, really good at it. They're really good at using the movement system. They're really good at aiming the guns in the game. That's fine. That's good for you. Some people don't like the game because they might be bad at it, you know? That they might be they might be bad at it because they just they just don't like it or uh, or they just, you know, they, they just they just can't handle it. I don't know. I don't know why why people might not like stuff, but it's it's pretty uh it's pretty it's, it's pretty interesting when you get down to it thinking about it the reason why people don't like con the reason why people like con and all that kind of stuff but anyway let's get back on topic so uh if if call of duty black ops 3 does fail which in order for it to do so it really needs it needs to have a really broken competitive system which i don't think it's gonna do uh we have to we have to see we have to wait and see for the specialists uh and to see how the specialists work out with the whole specialist draft thing that they have going on they have a new ban and veto thing going on so we're just gonna have to wait and see and check that out and see how um uh, how people respond to that how the community responds to that and all that kind of stuff so we'll have to wait and see for that but uh you know that's the first thing that leads to to great failure is a flawed esports system because call of duty is so big on esports nowadays back when i first started playing game battles in black ops 1 it was still a very small thing uh, you know very small local lands and just some GB tournaments But it's not as crazy as it is now with wagers and Twitter having people ego each other and all this stupid nonsense like the com the COD community has degenerated over the years when it does come to esports, but you know Nonetheless, it still has to have a very very broken system not a community the community is never gonna change so That's the that's uh, step one on the road to failure uh, if Call of Duty is going to end up failing, that's what's that's a good be that's going to be a good sign. That's going to be a good sign, mate, of, of of the community failing, the the game failing rather. Um, another thing that might end up failing it is like I said, if there's one or two guns that are just the strongest, like the Battle or the SM1, and then nothing else. Same thing with Ghost. It was just the Remington and then the SMG at the time. Whether or not it was the MTAR or the Vector, that just depended on the patches and everything. But it was just when you just have two guns. The competitive isn't that interesting because there's not that much variation. In Modern Warfare 3, it was pretty much just the ACR the entire time. You know, like, that wasn't interesting to watch. But in Black Ops 2, you had the M8A1, the AN94, the MSMC, the Scorpion, you know, the, the PDW, the MP7, stuff like that. And everybody used a variety of those things. People used shotguns, people used the snipers, people used whatever. And it, it worked. It worked really well. And it was lots of fun to watch. And it was crazy competitive because people would come up with these different strategies using all of these different kinds of weapons and features of the game. So basically, Black Ops 3 needs to be diverse, needs to have its own fun element to the game. The esports needs to be fun and addictive and interesting to watch. And it just has to be a good game with no glitches or errors. But that's a good thing with COD. Like, there's not too many glitches with COD. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. As always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.